Hey everyone, Scott again here from Lawrence Hypnotherapy. Thanks again for having me in your news feed. And today I just want to talk to you about like what we call, I'm just going to step back here until I'm, in, until I'm in the light, but the love and hate of a hypnotherapy business. So if you've got one and you're either stuck or you want to keep going or that you just find that like it's this time of the year where it's, you know, change temperature, it's cold and now like everyone's unreliable, whatever it is. There's literally like three things that people do that my coach was teaching me about actually that actually cause people to fail at this. And it's either that they quit, which you should never do no matter what, or they deviate, which means that they know the steps but they're hesitating to do them, or they do nothing, which is that they know the steps they're watching but they're not necessarily doing any of them. So I've got this acronym called FAIL, which is like the F which is for law of familiarity. When people get in the head and instead of the heart, they get into the head and they go, I know all that and I've been there. Oh, thanks guys, thanks for the thumbs, thanks for joining. But they go, I know all that, I know all the steps, tell me something new. And so one of the problems they have is that their life mission, which is to help people, like this is it, like why'd you get into hypnotherapy, got into it to help people, but the law of familiarity is making them go, yeah, but it's not exciting and new and everything right now. Well, sometimes it's not, at times, because like you're at a peak. Um, thanks again for the thumbs, that's so cool. I keep, like whenever I see them, I put mine up as well. But like sometimes it's not like, you know, this big sort of sexy, exciting thing for a bit, because like, yeah, you do get stuck. The A is for aimless, which is to say that they have like either no map, which means they haven't joined a program to tell them what to do next. They're just making it up. Um, the I is for inert when they're doing nothing. So that's where like perhaps like their health has got out of control or whatever it is. Or that they're in this point like where their, their heart, their emotions, they're like not really connecting with their, their bigger reason, but also they're not connecting with their health. Or they're thinking about it in a way like where, you know, like what I've done in the past is that I've used like way too much coffee or alcohol and stuff to, to have a big burst of energy. And then it made me crash. And then I had to learn that I can't use that stuff in the long term. I basically have to um, sleep, stick to my mission, and, and keep helping people. Because like the, the biggest feeling that you're going to get from all of this... You're awesome, Scott. Great video. Thank you very much, Ben. The biggest feeling that you're going to get from all of this is actually from helping others. And so if you could think of it more like a garden, as in like you go to plant something, and sometimes things grow straight away because it's the season for it, and sometimes you go to plant it, and it doesn't grow straight away, but you still need to, to not kill the plant. And so when people like, they'll put up a web page and they'll take it out down the next day. They'll join a program and then they'll leave it like maybe not the next day, but usually it's within three months because that's like, it's the three month, um, nine month and 12 months is where people feel like they want to leave a program or leave what they're doing. And that's why like, that's the most crucial time to help somebody in anything that you do. It's like, it's the three months, the, the nine months and the, the 12 months. That's when you really need to make sure that you're helping people pass those barriers. So then the L, the L in fail was for leave. So there was the F for familiar because like they know everything already. Um, so like it's all ego and it's like they're always attracted to something new. The A for aimless because they have no plan. They're not joining anybody's method to making it up because they're not really serious yet. The I for inert, which is they're either unhealthy or they feel unmotivated and they're doing nothing. And the L for leave, they're basically the four problems that people have. I've got this new seminar coming out this Saturday actually. I'll give you guys a link if you want. If you just say I'm in in the comment section. And it's basically from start to finish, we're doing like a full day from 10 to 5 on how to get, how to build your, your program for hypnotherapy, how to basically get your, um, your leads happening, and then how to convert. We don't have enough time in the seminar though to go into like, you know, how to make all the videos and how to make all of the, you know, the email sequences and things. So this is really the core about how to get leads, sales, and how to give a really amazing service. And it's the, at the Academy of Hypnotic Science, and I'll give a link. Lisa, Dean, love your message today, Scott. Beautiful, nice tips. Well, thank you. Absolutely. It's just that like if um, I've found that as a human, I've got to just like level with you and relate and say, even like um, last week, I could have done a lot more work. But what I was doing is that, yes, because these seminars coming up, I was basically preparing for it, but I wasn't doing all of my other steps as well. And so what I find is that sometimes like, you know, like you deviate because of like a whole range of of, um, of issues. Let's say like you put up like a question to your mentor, they don't answer it within a day, then you get sad. Or like another thing that can happen is that you, um, you put out so much energy, you get so much success and you love it for a while and then you're loving it for ages because it's like you're getting money and happy customers and then you get a bunch of problems, it's like the world just crapping on you and then you get sad. And there's other reasons that stop you, or there's like a tech issue, or maybe that you just get completely overwhelmed with it, or maybe it's a home issue, there's like a family member who's like needing far too much attention from you. Um, nice one, Scott. Thank you. Or whatever it is, but there's something going on in your life, which basically means that you've done so well, and then you dropped off because like you got sad or tired, and that's something that's happened to me as well, so that's where the way to keep that going is sometimes that you've basically got to... Um, 
work on your health. <laughs> take yourself on that self-date. Basically, take yourself to an area where you know that you're going to do good work. So it's like whether you have to like shut everyone out, whatever it is, but basically spend some time with your diary and then spend some time with yourself and just work out what you really want. And so that my seminar this weekend is called um, the How to Massively Grow Your Hypnotherapy Client Base in Six Weeks. And it's the Academy of Hypnotic Science. And I would love for you guys to be there. Um, so I'll share a link in the description if anybody says I'm in. Yes, all these experiences I can relate to. Absolutely. Um, the, the aimless one as well. This is like what I found like with aimless. Sometimes you can be aimless because you've had too much, too much um, advice from all different directions and they're all different. So every coach you have is going to give you a different method of doing it. My coach is very direct about like the life mission. And so like with Ryan Manchester, he's very direct about that, you know, you connect to your life mission, you do the steps. Other people are more kind of like um, cerebral in a way, like where they've said, set the whole thing up like a machine where you never need to talk to your customer. And that's also can be like a good coach, but that's not the kind of coach that I need at the moment. That's why I've got like Ryan Madges as my coach, because he's the guy basically helping me to connect with the people, because that's what it's about for me at the moment. It's about connecting with the people. I've also got um, at advancedcourseacademy.com the whole fail acronym um, in a video. So if you guys say, um, I'm in fail acronym, or how you say it, basically, do you just want me to share a link to, for a full explanation of the fail acronym is to the four reasons why people fail at things and how to get back on track, how to cure those four. Um, because if that's something that you relate to, it's a video that you can potentially watch at advancedcourseacademy.com. I'll share the link in the description. Um, it's when I was saying, you know, the, the F for familiar, A for aimless, I for inert, and L for leave. These are the four things that really, you know, mess with a person's head, like when they're, when they're working on the mission. There's also like what I call like the, the triangle of getting things done, which is in there. So what I'll do, I'll share a link in the description. You guys have been so awesome. Thanks for all the thumbs and all of the, you know, the awesome comments. I'll talk to you soon.